Welcome to the grand finale of the virtual reality module. Once you have the computer signed in, I need you to pick up the hand controllers and just touch the buttons so that they are awake. Then click the Oculus button once and press enter. I find that this is most effective because when people double click it, it takes a little longer to start and they get impatient and launch it more than once, which can cause a problem. Hey friends, welcome to Medium. Medium is why I wrote the virtual clay module. This is a place for you to sculpt. It's a huge virtual area. You can build anything you want in here. I'm going to just try and get you set up so that you can actually learn as quick as you can while using medium. The first thing you need to learn is that your left hand is the palette. Notice I've got clay paint, smooth and flate. Let's walk through some of these tools. First, I'm going to make sure I'm on the clay tool and I'm going to take this piece of clay and right now I'm holding the triggers and rotating my piece of clay around. I'm gonna make a bunny. On my left hand, notice I can zoom in and decide how big this uh, piece of clay that I'm gonna enlarge is. I'm gonna choose that size. And I'm gonna lift up a bunny ear. And on the other side, I'm gonna also lift up a bunny ear. Bunny ears are pretty sweet. I'm gonna go back to that tool and I want to uh, cut out or flatten, I'm gonna flatten a chunk of the bunny ear, kind of like a bunny ear, how it has the inside that's pink. So I'm gonna take my tool and make it smaller. And then I'm gonna just hold the front trigger, see I'm pulling this one up here, as I push that in for my bunny ear. If I ever don't like what I did, I just do the left stick to, re, uh, to undo it. I'm gonna do that same thing to the other side. So it's just like pushing a marshmallow of clay. You've got the whole uh, bit of clay right there in front of you for you to build and manipulate. At this point, I'm going to go back to my tools and I want to smooth those because they're just not as nice as I want. I'm going to make that smooth tool a little bigger and then I'm just brushing over what I just adjusted to smooth those little chunks out. Notice you can walk around as you build. You can look at it from any side, check and see what you've got going on. I'm not going for perfection. I'm just going for teaching you all these cool skills. Speaking of skills, let's put some paint in there. When you hit the paint tool on your right hand, you can see you've got the paint option. I'm going to give him some pink in his little ear, ear areas. And just touching them up so he looks a little bit like a bunny. I'm going to go back to my clay tool. So I'm pushing up on the thumbstick. I'm going to add clay. I'm going to make an eyeball. And I want my eyeball to be blue. So I'm going to hit the color choice here. Switch to my blues. Find the blue that I like. And then move back out on the screen. And I'm going to get my eyeball to the size I want. I'm going to just click and hold. If I don't like it, I do that left stick to undo. Yeah, I like that one. And I give them a matching one. Could have used the cool mirror tool to make them identical, but I don't need to. I'm going to give him a little tiny nose. Once again, I'm going to switch the color. He needs a pink nose. I want the nose to be a little smaller. Yeah, I'm happy with that nose. And I'm going to give him a super quick mouth. I'm going to do that in red. So I'm just picking my color. There's my red. And I'm going to give him a nice smiley face. So I've made half clown, half bunny because it's funny ha. and I've shown you quite a few tools we can undo and redo there's undo there's redo pushing it to the right uh, the next one I want to show you is the settings button on the settings button we've got an add so while holding the trigger I'm clicking add and it lets me pick what we want to add I'm gonna add a cube so now when I click down here it draws in a cube mode I'm going to go back to that button again. So now I'm painting with cubes. But I want to put a large cube. Holy cow, that's real large. So I'm going to go back in. I want about half that size. There we go. So now I've got a cube. That cube I really don't want to be red. I want it to be white. So I'm going to switch my colors. So there's where you pick your white. This is where you pick the amount of white or dark. 
All right, there's my lovely red cube. Why are you still red? I'm gonna undo it one more time. Let's go back to my colors. Um, now I've got white for sure chosen. And there's my lovely white cube for his body. I'm gonna grab him. So I'm gonna switch off the paint tool to the move tool. There's move. And now I can grab. Looks like I've gotta put it in the exact right spot. So I'm gonna undo. And then I'm gonna put this underneath him. So I'm back to clay. I've still got my nice piece that I added. And there's my body. I'm gonna make this smaller. Whoops, I don't want that. I'm gonna move it so I can see underneath. And let's give him a leg. So I'm gonna just squeeze and pull down. Squeeze and pull down. Obviously, you're noticing I do not have any artistic skills, but you don't have to have artistic skills. This can just be a ton of fun. I'm gonna to switch tools again over here in the settings. This time I wanna to go to the, it's called a capsule. And now with the capsule selected, let's try and draw an arm. <laughs> it's a little big, so I'm gonna undo it. And I want it to be at an angle. So I'm actually holding my hand crooked, so it actually draws crooked. I'm right click rotating so that we can do this. And this time I'm gonna give him an elbow so that he's waving with this hand. Let's give him fingers. Gotta give him a thumb and a little itty bitty pinky. There we go. Let's go over to the other side and give him hands as well. I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna zoom in so these are smaller fingers. One, two, three, or five. Oops, his arm is not connected. If I were trying a 3D print which I don't intend to 3D print this, but he is 3D printable. You do have to make sure all your parts are solid. Notice how easy and cool it is to spin that and flip it as you're double checking. I want my bunny to be the Mod Tech bunny. So I'm actually gonna put the words Mod Tech on his belly. And uh, I'm gonna do it with this tool because this is pretty slick. And I'm gonna do it in a different color. Let's go to red. Blue. We like blue. All right. So let's see if we can do H. So what are you gonna make? That's what your question is. You know, are you gonna just make something for fun? Are you gonna make something that means something to you? Uh, I'm obviously just having a ball. Uh, I'm gonna use flatten. I'm gonna make this nice and small. I'm gonna flatten that chunk. So I'm getting rid of the center of the D. There you go. That definitely says HL Mod Tech and I'm pretty proud of my project. At this point, it is important to save it. It is easy to accidentally back out and go to the wrong one. So the right button is not the save button. Let's check the left button, and there it is. There is a save as, and there's a quick save. I'm gonna do save as. Uh, it saves as the date, and it saves with my uh, information, which is totally cool. So you can just keep that and save it. And your projects will be saved. So once again, let's review. Make something awesome using the tools I've shown you. Uh, explore more than I've shown you. There's so much that you can check out. Uh, all kinds of places that you can find flipping and subtracting and renaming and merging. When you back out of a menu, you can just hit the second menu. The tutorials are awesome. So you can see uh, quick starts. Uh, they take time, but you've got time. So feel free to use those. Uh, for you to become as good as you can be, those are the kind of things you need to do. 
Uh, when you're in the menu, the way to back out is to hit that red home button again. Notice you can see the colors of the buttons. Uh, the button above that is where we find the saves and the toggles in the mirror. And I just want you to have fun and use virtual clay to the best of your ability. If you find something interesting, make sure that you add it to your module uh, notebook so that I can tell what's available for us. And uh, feel free to share all your cool things too. If you've got something that's awesome on the screen, uh, let me know. Notice that little home button is how you back out of that menu. And when you hit exit, you are really quitting. Friends, if you found this movie useful, please hammer that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. If you want to know when I make a new movie, click that notifications bell. And if you got a question or a comment, leave it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a glorious day.